Imagine. Ready to create Utopia. Um, the society of today is very fast. Um, even in these last 10 years, it, it, it was, how do you say, like technology is so much advanced from when I was like 20, I didn't have a cell phone, I didn't have email, and like 10 years later, even kids who are like four, five, six have emails and cell phones. And there is a, a little um, story I heard that in a kindergarten, the teacher asked the kids, okay, so let's go and search for something. And she meant the room, like searching for things in the room. And the kids were like searching, and they were like four or five years old, and then, she said, yeah, search for something. And then they said, um, we Google. So it's kind of like, that's like the yeah. new society. Like kids don't search in the room. They're just like online and, and they know like Google and you find everything. Um, so I don't know if it's a good or bad thing. Um, maybe kids or the new generation is less outside in nature and um, more in front of the computer. And I see that with myself too. Um, you adapt yourself to the new culture, which is more online. And, um, yeah. <laughs> I believe that when you follow your dream, you can make a living out of it. Um, it happened to me. I always followed my dreams and what I believed in. And um, if you really want it, and if you work for it, and if you think positive about it, uh, you can achieve it. But it doesn't mean that it happens just like the next day or the next year. It, I worked for it a long time. But I always said, as long as I uh, love what I'm doing, then you will achieve it. Otherwise, I'll stop and have to change. And it's also with my grandmother. She ran away from Tibet and she always believed in paradise. Um, and like six years later, she found paradise in Switzerland. So she says for herself, that's paradise. Because from where she came and where she, she ran away from Tibet and then came to India, and then she found paradise in Switzerland. It's a sign and a warning, I think. It's a sign that we should take more care of nature. And it's a warning that uh, it's time to really do it. I mean, like, I think it, it's a warning because we didn't realize the signs um, many years ago. And now it's a warning that we really have to change something. Otherwise, the world is going to be gone very soon. And um, maybe it's even too late. Like, now everything turns into green. Like, we have to be aware of... Um, eating organic, like trying to go back to nature, which is maybe even too late, I think, because um, I thought about like the other day, like the, what, what kind of third world war would we have here? And that because everyone has, or a lot of countries have atomic bombs. So that means like we would even destroy probably in the third world war if it ever happens, our whole Earth and um, maybe something new is going to start. I think we um, new society. We can create a new society every day. Um, to wait and say, okay, maybe there it will be a new society, and then we can change what we didn't do. Then um, I think we can really wait a long time. So I think we can change the society in what we do. That we approach people. That we don't ignore if something happens around the corner. What still happens that someone gets beaten up in the streets and people just try to ignore it. I think that's very important. That you get involved in. Things on the street with with strangers and um, so actually everyone can start now and um, involve other people if they don't realize that it's so important that we um, that we are a unity and that we should help each other
I try that I don't ignore people and that I am awake. Um, I see my mother and my grandmother are really much awake and try to change the society or they're just, that's how they live. And I realize I was born and raised in the West, so we kind of like ignore faster or just do our thing. And, and um, then I feel guilty and I'm like, oh, no, I want to change something, so I have to do something for it. And I try it every day, but I... I myself don't achieve all the time, but to be aware of it, I think that's the beginning of change.